In this uh, YouTube tutorial, we are going to uh, talk about the javadoc command. And if you look through here, you will see certain special comments structured in a certain way, such as at auth or at version, at param none, exception, etc. So I'm going to show you how to generate something that we all hate, all programmers hate, which is you if you said documentation you are correct so I'm gonna show you how you can use a tool that came out with Java years ago in 1995 that has been invaluable over the years and has matured and gotten better and the only thing you need to do is write your comments which I've been stressing all along you should be doing anyways but you write them in such a certain uh, way in a certain structure that um, you can run its utility and it will build the code for you so the first thing you must do is identify where on your system your Java JDK was installed. So if you're on a Windows system, which the majority of our, you are, it will be under C, Program Files, Java, JDK, and in this version is 1.625. So you can see the link here, and we are looking for this command. So you want that path. So I'm going to shut that down. We no longer need it. Now I created or started a command at the uh, command line. And notice I put within quotes because the reason I need to do that is Windows doesn't handle a blank between program files. So double quote, C program files, Java JDK 1.6, blah, 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 bin, Java doc, end quote, and the name of the program, the source code, not the object, not the class, but the source code. Okay, and this is just a Windows view of uh, where I'm at. So I just have these two, I have the source and I have the object. So let's run this, and you can see it went through and created some. And look, it created all these HTML over here. So if we click on index, look what it did. It created a database access object documentation. It tells me all the methods. It tells me what goes in, what goes out. It's just beautiful. It's just wonderful. Here's my execute SQL. It takes a string. This method will execute any non-select SQL statement, and right here it returns an int. Get the tata, uh, get database table names. Here's my comment, and it comes back the results set. This one, get metadata, returns back the results set metadata. So you can see it's really, really valuable. And if you click here, it will bring you down to the details on it. It's just really, really a good thing. 